Okay guys, Cindy here. I decided to give Fenty another chance. And this is just to get ready with me. And my disclaimer, I'm, I'm not a makeup artist. I just do what works for me. And you may tell, I cut my bangs yesterday. I actually did them on a video, but then, um, um, what did I say? Quick time messed up, and so I said, forget it. And it, enjoy, just forget it. So we're gonna pull our hair back. If we can find a pen. If we can't, we'll just uh, put it in a ponytail holder. <laughs> I lose my little things all the time. Anyway, so let's get started. I already did my eyebrows and I did a little bit of foundation. Uh, not foundation, just some tinted moisturizer. And um, let's start off. Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to prime our eyelids. I got my Ulta order in. I would ordered some of this um, Hemp Z. They had it on sale for like, is it $13 or $10.30 or something. I would picked it up at uh, Walgreens for like $19.99 plus tax. And then I ordered some Elf Hydrating Coconut Spray just to try it out. And so, and I ordered, what else did I order? Some primer, some white, so we can have white now. Um, and with this Fenty, it did not have good color. So, we're going to try this new white, but I do not want pearl. I want just the flat, well, I could use pearl, it doesn't matter. Uh, one of them's kind of pearl, and one of them's matte. Uh... We just opened one. And, you know, Ulta used to send little gifts, although it's been a while. It's been a couple of years since I've ordered anything from them because I have been doing Avon. But now I'm back to just buy from wherever. This is NYX NYX eye primer. And I bought, I think I bought that for them before. And it's got a little safety seal, so that's good if you're worried about... In addition to it sealed up, it's got a safety seal on top of this too that I just made a mess. And this looks matte, which that's what I'm going to use since that's what I opened. And um, I do have a brush. I typically don't like using brushes for stuff like this, but it can be such a mess and my nails are long, so I don't have much choice for something tiny like this. So let's go ahead and do that. I just, uh, flesh color or nude would have been fine, except the last time I used Fenty, it was not, it darkened out. That makes me mad when stuff do that. So I thought, well, with some new primer, we would give it another chance. And it has turquoise in it, and so I wanted to match my nails. Hold on. I'm thinking about doing some videos like one palette, so many looks, but I need I might need a better device. Maybe use my iPad or 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 something. This here laptop I think I got in 2012. Uh my desktop I got in 2016, but I can't haul that around. And I got another laptop that I even bought before that, but I've let my husband use that. Of course he didn't care no more. He's not working anymore. He's retired. He's not interested in anything anymore other than just taking care of the house and stuff like that. So, I'm going to look in the mirror. Anyway, probably went too far up. Let's move that out with my finger a little bit. And we're just guessing today. Um, so I want to use the turquoise one. So I think I'm going to take this row down with some pink and peach. And see how that goes. So start off with kind of a fluffy brush. Make sure it's clean. And I'm going to do this. 
I'm going to take it from this row all the way down this way. And so I'm going to start over here. Sort of a transition. And I'm hoping with the better primer that the eyeshadow will look better than it did last time. Like, see, this was kind of a, you can see, I don't know if it's the same color or not. And I use this top one here. And then I'm going to go in with the pink after that with a different brush, sort of fluffy. Make sure it's clean, wipe it off. Pink it out. Might just put that over the whole lid because I think I'm going to use pink for the lid part. Then take a smaller brush and I'm going to use this uh, turquoise, the kind of the lighter turquoise, and kind of put in the crease. That does look a little better. Maybe the primer did help. I can't remember what I did before. And take it down. Take it down. Then take a kind of fluffy brush, make sure it's clean, kind of blend it out. And then Maybe make it a little bit bigger because I'm going to use this extra dark color too to kind of, um, with a different brush, a little pointy brush. In case I have to go back to the other brushes, they won't be corrupted. So I'm going to take this darker color down in here and I'm going to really take the edge out. Maybe put a little bit in the cut crease too. Look in the big mirror. Now then, for this lid, we will do a little bit more and then we will worry about the under eye. So I've got, I'm going to use this for a primer since I'm going to use pink on the lid and this is just some Revlon. I actually bought it for eyeshadow but it's light and it can just sort of be underneath it. Cut crease. It's not a real sharp cut crease like a lot of them do. This is a for the over 50 crowd. Next year I'll get to do the over 60 crowd. If y'all like my nails, I've got a couple tutorials on previous to these that I did them. I did first installed them and they were still long and then I did another video where I cut them down and decorated them a little bit. I don't know that this is my best decoration job. They're just foils and stuff, but I've got an idea for next week. I think next week I'm going to do the black ones, the transparent sheer black, no glitter or anything, but then I've got some foils that are look like lace and I think that would be pretty. They're black black lace because it's sheer transparent with that I'm hoping it will look good okay so um I put that kind of pink primer on and now I'm going to go back in with this pink here and 
brighten it up some. Okay, now then, what we can do is kind of touch up these other colors a little bit. Just a little bit. Now, let me see if there's any fallout. You know, I don't really see any fallout. Maybe because I didn't use very much. Now, I'm going to use some just regular Morphe concealer underneath. And then I'll use, you can use a brush or your hands. I like my hands. That way I can spend my money on nails and other stuff and not brushes. Not brushes. Yeah, the brushes seem to get real gooky. Even just like using um, powder, they can kind of get a texture on them. So, and then I'm going to kind of do just a little bit more to kind of blend that in a little bit underneath. fingers off and this is what it looks like so far with the so I'm happier with the Fenty today I can't remember what I did last time I might have done some maroon or something and it did not turn out maroon so I'm going to take my dark blue over here in the corner and you may have got the Fenty box if you get BoxyCharm Premium if you're not I think it's on sale for Sephora for $29 now Certainly, it's probably on Beautylish, too. But these like these kind of palettes, I prefer to just get them out of the box. And just, if I'm going to actually buy a palette, I'll buy something that, I, that doesn't come in a box, like a Morphe or um, um, Jeremy Stein. He's kind of my favorite right now. Although, I was liking that... Um, palette I got from James Charles but it's a Morphe palette so I'm going to lighten that up with a little bit of this lighter turquoise too with another brush the brush I used for that and take it all the way up I'm just sitting around the house the most I'm going to today I'm going to watch church on TV and probably about the most thing I'll do is my husband, he'll probably want me to go get something for supper because we usually would eat out on Saturday night and then I would go get something for Slotsky's on Sundays and Slotsky got the carry out so he's been having me do that. Okay, now then, before we do any mascara, let's um, use some white highlighter. And I'm just going to stick with the palette. They've got a little bit of white right here. So I'm going to put that on the inner corner. And then kind of... And I can't see very well. I hope I'm doing an okay job. And we can put a little bit underneath the uh, eyebrow, clean up where I painted it in. Okay, I'm not looking big now. Then use a white eyeliner brush that's supposed to make our eyes look bigger, as long as the white highlighter dots in the inner side too. Okay, now then, I do like eyeliner, so I got a few here. I was looking for that um, sex kitten, because I use it a lot, um, but anyway, I'll find it later. Okay. 
Okay, did it go out? I don't think so. I think it's still going. Let me look at the timer. It says it's still running. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to use this and I will find that other mask liner lighter. It's probably getting kind of old anyway. So, I'm going to line in the mirror and I'm just going to line... Just a small line so my eyes don't feel so naked. You can wing it out if you want. I don't know if we're supposed to be doing that anymore though. Now that we're older. Okay, now then some mascara. We got that done. I need to put my powder on first. I think I think before we do any more, we'll put a little powder on. And do this girl last. Because a lot of times you'll get powder inside the um, on top of the mascara. After you put it on. And this is just translucent, everyday vacay. Uh, it came in a boxy charm, and then I got it for a boxy add-on the next month. I bought a couple of them, so that was nice. If you don't have that, just regular old press powder, just use with a brush instead of the pattern, instead of the... And then we'll go back to my sky. So you'll be pretty for your husband sitting around the house. Or you'll be pretty for yourself. Let me look in my big mirror, see if I need to do something else. I think this does look better. I don't know if last time if I just chose bad colors, so I'm glad I gave it another chance. Next time we do it, we'll try to do something different. Do some of the others, because there's several combinations. A lot of them are more fall, though. You know, turquoise might be considered fall, but I've got to, You can wear turquoise is good any time. I guess brown is good anytime too. I just don't wear a lot of brown and stuff. So, okay, and then how about some blushers? And highlighter. I'm gonna use my Fenty highlighter. This is some kind of Fenty something or other. I think it's lip gloss. Well, I just don't know what I did with it. Hmm. I'll have to find it. So we're not going to use Fenty highlighter. I have no idea what I did with it. I'll have to find it. Um, so we'll use something else. It kind of bothered me that I did that. what happens when you clean stuff out. Anyway, let's get going. Let's just use one of these colors as a blusher. How about the pink? Or if pink is pink, we can use this pink that came in at Ipsy. 
And I'm going to try to find what I did with that Fendi highlighter. I mean, granted, I like powder highlighters better, so I could have stuck it in another room for my daughter. I just don't know. But since I've used it, I would not put in my giveaway stack, except my daughter. She can take you stuff. For like anyone else. I got some new highlighter. This I got from Ulta. It's a ColourPop. And I'm going to use a different brush so not to, like, you know, contaminate it. Whatever. Just one of these little pink brushes. I did kind of try it out a little bit, put it on my finger, and it does kind of, it looks white, but it kind of comes pink. I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, lipstick. How about this Queen V? It's kind of pinky. And we're supposed to be lighting, especially us older ones. So that the color doesn't get out and get on in our line. I need to sharpen this. Alrighty. See my grays? I touched it up a couple weeks ago with a home kit. It looked terrible. What it did was the grays didn't do much to them, but then my dark hair, it kind of turned it lighter, so I was a little irritated. So I'm going to try not to touch it up again, although I do have another um, package. Just wait for the hairdresser to come back. And she'll have a lot of coloring to do. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, uh, that's it for the Fendi. I hope you like the look. So, sitting around the house, everyday look. Or you can go out. I think color is good for every day. Not just going out at night. Or not just a party. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.